Uh, my name's Robert Bain. I'm studying computer games development. I'm doing computer games development at UCLAM. Um, I'm in my third year. Hello, I'm Lee. I'm a third year games development student here at UCLAM. Uh, my name's Anthony Brown. I'm studying computer games development at UCLAM. One of my friends was studying here and I didn't have any A-levels so he told me about a foundation course that I could come and do. So when I came into UCLan as a mature student um, I had no A-levels or anything um, but because I was over the age of 25 um, I just did a say an hours exam and then um, once I passed that they let me have my choice of course and they mentioned the computer games course and I decided to go for that one. I toured the country, went to four or five different universities uh, throughout and this one was just the best. The, the lecturers here knew everything about everything, um, very well informed. The, the, the university campuses was by far the best. I mean the first year it's, it's a lot of mixed stuff, it's not just games, you do a lot of, um, we did Photoshop courses, uh, making uh, web design courses and stuff like that, so there was a lot of a different different uh, modules involved. There's a lot of theory and a lot of practical, more practical than anything else. You actually give in code, you actually figure it out how it works and then fix it sometimes or improve on it. We do a lot of artificial intelligence, um, like cutting edge graphical techniques. Lots of maths, linear algebra, um, and just making games, having fun. Lots of graphics, lots of AI. And then things like um, Particle systems, we've just done formations today. My project were um, using the geometry shader, which is a fairly new technology, um, to render well, 5.4 million particles. We'd learnt bits of the games, so we can put them together in the end. That's what our third year project's normally about. Try and put all our knowledge together, learn some more, and then get a final year project out of it. We did a um, group game last year, as part of the second year, and that teaches you a lot to work with a team and how to combine all your efforts into one system. Well, we're in the games lab at the moment and these are obviously the best computers in the university to do what we need to do and they have to be the, of the highest spec otherwise. I mean, my project at the moment won't run on my laptop at home. Well, at the moment we use um, dual screen uh, computers with very high tech. All the specs are virtually up to date, cannot deny that. We get, we're access here from 9 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock at night. There's a few of us who stay, can't do 12 hour shifts in, in here to keep it going. The lecturers are second to none. You've got Gareth, who's an AI specialist, and you've got Laurent, who used to own two games companies, and he teaches the graphical side. And you can go up to them and ask them any questions, and normally they'll know it straight away and they give you a hand. They'll sit you down and just try to work through it. My final year project is um, a city simulation, so it's based on SimCity, the, uh, the old city building game, but it's all artificial intelligence, so it builds itself, um, cars drive around the city, the buildings go up, the buildings become redundant, and, um, and then lots of shiny, shininess to afterwards. <laughs> How long does it take to put something like that together? All year. Um, I started, started actually coding it around October properly um, and it's just almost ready to, to be shown and polished off. This is a final scene, so I've done a bit of a post-apocalyptic final scene showing some burnt buildings and fire and all sorts going on. This has taken me about four or five months of solid coding, but uh, a lot of it with this is just tweaking and getting all the niggly bits working. There isn't actually a lot of code in there to produce that. It's only one, I think there's two classes and one effects file, which is how you talk to the GPU. Um, but there isn't a lot of code. The main bit of it is tweaking it to get the right effect with each particle system. Uh, well, Gareth speaks to one of the astrophysicists in the Jeremiah Horrocks Institute and he was interested in 
rendering some data that he's processed on a supercomputer over in Texas. This is just a still shot of it because these games computers can't handle doing all the calculations for each of the particles. And this is just at the end of a month's running on a supercomputer. And now we can just visualise it and then he can pick out where the galaxies have been torn apart, where these tails have formed, um, the density of the stars, um, where the densest stars are, things like that. Well, I had the majority of the code done in a few weeks <laughs> the rest of it was just adding little bits. So I've been adding like stereoscopic 3D, Xbox pod support, the user interface there. Well, I just added that in, but having to learn that as well. Well, fingers crossed into the games industry, but um, it's not the only uh, uh, available option out there. There are software jobs that you can go for, but um, I'll try my best to, to get into the industry. Well, I'm hoping to go on to do a Masters of Research to carry on my work on this. Um, we'll just work trying to see if we can get the funding for that at the moment. I think the course is very catered towards uh, practical industry experience as well as uh, the theory behind it and, and the academic work. Um, uh, personally, I, I, I'd love to get into games, but it's very elitist. It's, um, it's hard to get into. But this course opens the door for any, any type of software engineering whatsoever, whether it's simulations or applications, like mo mobile applications, or all of that. Maybe try and find a job in the games industry, or get a different kind of job, like a software engineering job, and just do little indie games on the side. Because I know the game industry is very hard to get into. Very, very hard, and it's a very elitist course, which I don't know because the talent, there's a lot of talent out there. If my master's goes well, then possibly a PhD. Most people think they could do games, most people can't know. If you, they think if you can enjoy playing games, they can do it. There's no correlation between them at all. There's a completely different mindset of playing a game and actually building the game. And you have to look, work a very long hours um, 12 hour shifts, four times a week. Not unusual, just in uni, you go home, do another three, four hours, and at the weekend you've got another 16 hours over two days, so you can do quite 60 hours easy, just doing your work, which most people, <laughs> most students won't do. But in this, we have a lot to do, so we have to put knuckle down and do a lot of work. If you're willing to do the work, definitely go for it. Turn up on time, listen, do make notes, um, for say your third year project, keep a diary of when you're doing it. Um, that was probably one of my biggest mistakes. Because uh, now I have to try and think back at what I've been doing is rather of just looking up what I've written. Lots of hours. Um, if you put the work in early in first and second year, it pays off so much in, in third year. Uh, I, I personally, I didn't work as hard second year as I could have and I paid for it. But uh, the workload this year has just been so much, it's been unbelievable. But uh, it's paying off first all round. It's difficult but it's easily manageable. Um, I mean, I'm 27 now, I've got a son, and I still manage, so I work as well. So it's, it's all manageable. you just got to, you know, work around your, your problems and whatever, but yeah, definitely worth coming to university and, and, and doing it. Oh yes, I'll definitely, I'll, if I had my time again, I'll definitely still choose this every time.